This is the scintillating grid illusion, and it's quite powerful, I think. I see some strange dark dots appearing there when moving my eyes, but they're not really there. I thought it's a nice beginner-friendly project, so today I'm going to show you how to code it using JavaScript and HTML canvas. Start your editors and get ready to trick your brain into seeing things that aren't really there. Get it? Because the dots are no, no, no. Gonna code, debug, and have fun. Coding with Radu. Coding with Radu. Gonna prototype and design. Coding with Radu. Coding with Radu. Let's code now. I have Visual Studio Code open in an empty folder. And let's create our first file, index.html. We begin with basic syntax. First, we specify the doc type and then the HTML opening and closing tags. And inside, let's type the head section and give our document a title, scintillating grid. And it's going to be a canvas app. So inside of this body, I'm going to define a canvas like so. Now, if we open this index.html in a browser, I'm using Google Chrome, then you'll see the title appearing here. And the canvas is actually there if you open the developer tools in this elements section, you can see it highlighted. It's just transparent by default. We can give it a style here and I'm going to set its background color to black because that's how the illusion's background is. Save, refresh, and now we can see it there. But I also wanted to cover the full screen and I'm just going to align this a bit and right here, a width of 1,621 and a height of 1,005. That's what works for me, but your screen might be different. You can also make this application responsive if you change the screen size in JavaScript, but I'm not gonna bother with that. And I do add here an ID because we will need to refer to this canvas in JavaScript. So here, in the script tag, we can now get the access to the drawing context of the canvas. This CTX will contain all the methods we need to draw in 2D on the context. And now let's draw horizontal lines all over the canvas at the fixed spacing. So spacing, let's say 100 pixels. And now I'm going to loop with Y starting at the spacing, going all the way to the canvas height. And now we begin a path, move to the left side of the screen, so zero and at Y, and line to the right side, so my canvas, width and Y. We want horizontal lines. I'm going to set the stroke style to white, otherwise its default value is black and we won't see anything, and stroke. And this is what we get. So horizontal lines are here, but we want them to be thicker. I'm going to go specify the width of these lines with one variable here at the top, and then line width is equal to that width. Okay, so this looks the way I want it. And now we're going to copy for vertical lines. So everything here, I just copy it below. And we're going to replace y with x. So x starting at the spacing, x going all the way to the canvas width, and then x increasing by the spacing. Moving to x and 0, so 0 for the top part of the screen, and line to x and my canvas height 
vertical lines. Save and refresh, and we have this grid, which is actually in and of itself an optical illusion. It's called the Hermann grid illusion. And if you look at it, you see some kind of dark spots at these intersections, but not at the one that you're looking at. So you can look at an intersection and it's going to look white, which it is, but all the other ones, surrounding ones, seem to be grayish, darker. And uh, this is an optical illusion, but we want another one. We want the scintillating grid optical illusion. It's very related to this. We just need to draw the lines in gray and then circles at these intersections. So changing the color here from white to gray, like so, that had some effect. I still see the illusion with these darker intersections there, but now adding the circles gives us a new illusion. So adding circles at all those intersections, we need to do a loop inside of another loop. And I'm going to copy this and then copy this inside this one. Let's close these curly braces and draw a circle at the XY location. So begin path. And I'm going to use the arc method, which needs an X value, Y value, the center, and then I'm going to pass the same width here to be the radius of this circle. For it to be a full circle, we also need to say the starting angle is zero and the end angle is two pi or 360 degrees. But this arc method works with radians. And we specify the fill style to be white and fill. Now save and refresh, and it's much more crazy than before. So if you do look at the specific intersection, it's white, and I also see the surrounding ones in white, but then all the other surrounding ones are crazy. They, are, they have like a, a black dot inside of them, or a dark dot inside of them. Do you see it in the same way? Try playing with this. Change the width, the size of the circles, the colors, and let me know if you notice anything special. Thanks for watching and see you guys.